After another time jump, members of the Umbrella Academy return home to our present day and meet new children of Sir Reginald Hargreaves, known as the Sparrow Academy. Tensions quickly rise between the two groups, leading to a serious confrontation. Each member of the Sparrow Academy shows their unique powers during the fight. Jamie produces a toxic hallucinogen and uses it on Diego. Faye controls crows, Sloane manipulates gravity, and Alfonso uses his own body as a voodoo doll. Marcus demonstrates his super strength, while Christopher appears to be a psychronium cube or something like that. The sparrows easily kick the Umbrella's asses, prompting Klaus to bring his siblings to Hotel Obsidian, a safe haven where they can lay low. They realize that their actions in the past have altered the timeline very seriously. Unfortunately, Five has forgotten his briefcase at the Sparrow's residence. There is also a mysterious ball of energy, but nobody knows about it yet, except for Grace. Diego meets his former lover, Lila, who introduces him to their teenage son, Stan, and asks Diego to look after him temporarily. Meanwhile, Vanya has a private encounter with Marcus and persuades him to return the briefcase. However, when Marcus arrives in the basement, the swirling ball of energy obliterates him and sends a shockwave across the world, wiping out elements from the timeline. The Sparrows believe that the Umbrellas have taken Marcus and kidnapped Luther as a form of retaliation. However, Sloan and Luther quickly find common ground and develop a mutual understanding. Allison discovers that her daughter Claire does not exist in this altered reality. Vanya finally fully embraces his true identity, undergoes a new haircut, and changes his name to Victor. Klaus, determined to find his biological mother, discovers that she mysteriously died before his birth. Meanwhile, Five witnesses another shockwave and realizes that they are now facing another world-ending threat. He reveals that all of their mothers had died before their births, and their journey to this reality has caused the grandfather time paradox and the Kugelblitz problem. While Diego seeks to establish a connection with Stan and has another confrontation with Alfonso and Jamie, Lila's briefcase turns out to be broken, and she hopes to obtain a functional one from the Sparrow Academy's residence. Although the Sparrow Academy releases Luther, he chooses to spend the evening with Sloan. During this time, they grow closer and share a kiss. Five and Lila join forces and create a feedback loop using their powers. The outcome of this collaboration transports them to an icy wasteland located outside the commission. Faye and Ben venture into the basement, where Grace is observing the swirling orb and referring to it as the god that took Marcus. Klaus breaks into the academy and develops a closer relationship with Hargreaves. He discovers that the old man is essentially a captive within his own house, as the Sparrow Academy members control the institution and feed Hargreaves with pills. Klaus instantly decides to help his father become sober. During one of Reginald's moments of slumber, he utters the word oblivion. Later, Klaus uncovers Grace and the growing orb. When the Sparrows show up at Hotel Obsidian and attack the Umbrellas, a mysterious man appears and uses his powers, killing Alfonso and Jamie. Sloane stays there, while other Sparrows escape. When Victor looks at the man, he recognizes him as Harlan, the son of Victor's lover from the past. Now, Harlan is a grown man with immense power that he can barely control. After his mother died of cancer in 1989, filled with pain and anger, Harlan produced a massive blast of energy that killed the mothers of all the umbrellas. Victor realizes that he was the reason Harlan got his powers in the first place, so he promises to help Harlan get rid of them. Allison keeps Sloane hostage and tortures her to get information about the briefcase, but Sloane knows nothing about it. Luther promises to do anything to keep Sloane safe from now on. Lila and Five reveal that the grandfather paradox is not just in one reality but is somehow affecting the entire universe. They search for the founder of the commission, who may have the answers. To his own surprise, Five finds the founder and meets a much older version of himself. However, there doesn't seem to be a solution to this Kugelblitz situation. Old Five admits that all that's left is Oblivion, warns Five not to save the world, and dies. Five notices a strange tattoo on the old man's chest and cuts it off him. Stan and Klaus wander around the hotel and find the White Buffalo Room. 
Stan messes around with a harpoon gun and accidentally kills Klaus. Ben wants the umbrellas to give Harlan to the sparrows so they can kill him and take revenge for Jamie and Alfonso's deaths. Klaus experiences his afterlife condition and manages to come back to life after all. After losing her daughter and beloved husband from the past, Allison suffers from a mental breakdown. Diego helps her to vent her anger, but Allison obviously still has too much going on in her head. She just can't keep losing people she loves anymore. For a distraction, she even uses her power to make Luther kiss her. While the group tries to make up a plan on how to deal with the Kugelblitz and stop the universe from being destroyed completely, the sparrows use Grace's eye to see what's inside the Kugelblitz. Unfortunately, it only causes another blast. Victor wants to protect Harlan from the sparrows and asks Allison for help. Five uses a tattoo he got from his older version as a hint and finds Pogo. In this reality, he helped out the sparrows with their training too. When he noticed Reginald's violence towards his children, he was fired. Before leaving, he gave Marcus the pills that could help the sparrows control their father. Pogo recognizes the tattoo and tells about Project Oblivion, a kamikaze mission for the sparrows planned by Hargreaves. Now, when Klaus got his father sober, Reginald might try to implement this idea again. Diego and Lila enjoy their reunion but discover that Stan is missing. Looking for him, they find a strange portal in the White Buffalo Room. The portal leads them to an alternative version of the hotel. During their search, Lila confesses that Stan is actually not Diego's son. She just used her friend's child to check how good of a dad Diego would make. Angry, Diego hits the bell at the reception, and suddenly some monstrous guard appears and attacks them. Lila and Diego manage to escape and get back to the real Obsidian Hotel. There, they see Stan, safe and sound. But not for long, as another shockwave from the Kugelblitz wipes him out completely. Ben offers Luther to join the Sparrows, making him face a difficult choice between his family and the girl he loves. Victor, Harlan, and Allison work together to transfer Harlan's powers back to Victor. After they succeed, Allison finds out the truth about Harlan killing their mothers and goes nuts. She kidnaps Harlan and delivers him to the Sparrows. After that, Victor gets mad and has a huge fight with Allison. Klaus tells his father about his resurrection experience, and Reginald enthusiastically offers him to promote his talent. After dying again and again dozens of times, Klaus manages to reincarnate very quickly. The Umbrellas and the Sparrows team up to stop the Kugelblitz from wiping them all out. They manage to capture it in Christopher's body and decide to celebrate their victory. Meanwhile, Lila tells Diego she is pregnant for real. The celebration doesn't last long, as the orb explodes out from Christopher, killing Christopher and Faye and causing devastation across the Academy. The Sparrows and the Umbrellas seek refuge in Hotel Obsidian. As the orb is going to destroy the whole world soon, Luther and Sloan decide to get married in the evening. Everyone is invited, and even Reginald shows up. While Klaus begs everyone to forgive their father and be kinder to him, Allison's relationship with Victor remains strained. When Reginald leaves, he heads upstairs to the White Buffalo Room and appears to strike a deal with someone. Five sees his father in this room acting suspiciously but passes out before realizing who Reginald was talking to. The next day, everyone gathers for a family meeting, and Reginald speaks about the legend of the Seven Bells. Apparently, there is a way to put everything back together again and save the world. The main key is the portal, which the Hotel Obsidian has been built around. The answer lies through there, and they need to ring those aforementioned bells. There are mysterious guardians protecting the portal, and they are deadly dangerous. Taking into account the data they have, they need to vote on whether they should give this idea a try or not. Allison apologizes to everyone for her recent behavior and tries to persuade them to vote for the mission. However, the majority votes against it, which leaves Reginald disappointed. Five realizes that it was Allison who struck a deal with Reginald the night before. Later, when Luther talks to his father in private, Hargreaves kills him. 
He believes this is going to be the best way to bring the family together and head through the portal after all. His plan works, and as the hotel begins to be ripped into the Kugelblitz, everyone goes into the portal except for Klaus, since Reginald pushes him back, telling him he's more trouble than he's worth. Klaus faces his fate and dies for another time. In his afterlife condition, Klaus meets Luther, who tells him the truth about their father. They realize that Reginald is not human but an alien who only follows his cruel and selfish motives. Luther encourages Klaus to get back to his siblings and help them survive. The rest of the group gathers in the main atrium of the other hotel and discusses what to do next. Reginald tasks them to split up and find the sigil, which appears to be the key to resetting the universe. While the hotel starts changing, forcing them to walk around in circles, Hargreaves rings the bell, and the guardians begin to chase each group. Ben, Five, and Sloane work together to defeat their guardian. Lila and Victor work in tandem, combining their powers, blasting the guardian back and killing him. Everyone gathers in the atrium, confronting Reginald about his true intentions. Eventually, Five solves the mystery and figures out that the sigil is on the atrium floor. Right after that, the final guardian approaches and attacks Five and the rest of the group. The Umbrellas and Sparrows start the final fight to destroy the Guardian, which appears to be the strongest and most dangerous one. Thanks to Klaus, who managed to summon Luther's spirit, they defeat him too. Five tells everyone to stand on a star on the floor. They take up their positions, except for Allison, who stands back. A blue light connects them and keeps them fixed to their spots, and a strange mechanism appears in the middle of the room. Hargreaves starts pushing some buttons, and Allison realizes that what he is doing is killing her siblings. She decides to save her family and stop Reginald by killing him. Then, she observes the machine and sees a button that looks like the Kugelblitz. After some hesitation, she pushes it, and everything goes black. Allison appears in California with her daughter and her husband from the past, getting her impossible happy ending. The rest of the group wakes up in a new version of the world. They discover they have lost all their powers, though Luther is alive, but Sloane is missing. They go their separate ways to discover what this new life may hold for them. Meanwhile, Reginald Hargreaves is alive and standing with his wife Abigail, looking at the city from a skyscraper window.